Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and this is an Instagram winner. Ooh. Also, please do check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online, so wherever you are in the world, you can get a singing lesson. And last but not least, do check out my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content. I'm a 90s kid, or well, I was born in the 80s, that's a spoiler as to my age. I grew up in the 90s, I can't really remember, I definitely can't remember the 80s. I feel like I should know these guys better, I think they were probably bigger in America. I know they're big in the UK, I just don't know them very, very well. So I'm interested, I know that everyone tells me that they're awesome, so not a TV studio. Josh, turn these lights out. So aggressive. Rock concert. Ready to stand up. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, so much energy. Is he going to sing with that? Wow, okay. Cool! I love how he just hit it straight away with that distortion. It's full tone, full chord closure. That means that he's not getting a breathy tone at all. It's quite high, so he's going into a mix. It sounds nice and easy and kind of conversational I guess although he's going into this rhythmic sort of sound he hasn't got hard consonants it's like very kind of mumbly I guess but that's within the style of this I remember like Alanis Morissette really similar to her these big scoops and then rhythmic phrases really cool really open uh, really helpful It's almost spoken. Got so much energy. You just have to like dance, don't you? What he's doing really well is really opening his mouth. I know it's such a small detail. Well, it isn't a small detail, but so many people don't do it. So many people sing and they're like, hmm. The sound can't get out, it's really, really simple. But also, on a more kind of sciencey level, not even sciencey, from people who close their mouth, they mumble, they get jaw tension. All these muscles here are attached to all the rest of the muscles, all the muscles around your larynx, and then that's when you get that sort of tight singing, and you don't want that, of course. You want it to be nice and free, which is what he's doing here, he's keeping it nice and free. Talk about this in a second. I love how he's changing. This is such a rock thing to do, and they do it in a lot of modern rock, but changing the vowel sound so he doesn't keep this open vowel sound. He'll be like, away, off again. He closes it halfway through. I mean, I'm over exaggerating, but it's an interesting nuance, and it's now in a lot of pop as well. Oh, here he's got tension. Purposeful tension in that satin. Closed. Oh, that's cool. So you can see how he's changing it from. He's changing the area of resonance. So you can put many different tones on by changing various different things. So you could change your mouth shape, where your tongue is, and your vocal tract, the space between your larynx and your lips. So there's loads of things that you can change in there to make different tones. And they often feel like 
the different points of the face. So uh, to me feels quite back here. Uh, feels quite forward and in here. Oh, I love this fried distortion. This this side uh, added on top. I know that this is just a studio recording and this is clips of, I think, live shows, but they are doing that in live shows, which is absolutely mad. It's so hard to control your breath when you're running around like mad like this. I'm not sure if it sounds exactly like this when it's live. I think that would be near impossible. Although, having said that, if you see Pink doing her acrobatics off the side of a building and then having flawless vocals, then I'm sure this could sound fairly flawless if you're prepared, if you're fit and healthy, and if you just know how to sing the song, if you've worked out exactly where it needs to be resonance-wise, and you have to know your voice so well. There's that weird valve, way. I like it. Their hair is so fabulous. Everyone's hair. I'm a bit jealous. Yeah! Again, fourth place. Love it. I would absolutely have loved to have been there in that audience. I would be going absolutely mad. It's just so infectious, that energy. And doing stuff like that, like you don't see that these days. It's like health and safety, you can't climb all over things. It's amazing. The theatre would sue you if you broke something. <laughs> oh gosh, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump! Imagine. That's the most ridiculous feeling. I've never crowd surfed. I would love to do it. What I love about this is he's using no vibrato and often I love the vibrato in things but for this style it wouldn't work. It would be like ah, ah which gives it that lovely rounded finesse but this isn't about finesse, this is about solid singing, it's about attacking it, about bringing energy and aggression and tribalism. Often you get that kind of tribal feel when you don't have vibrato there. Man. What is that? It's the microphone, not the microphone, he'll break it! Oh gosh! They're expensive! Really expensive. I guess he's got a record label paying for it. Actually, that mic probably wasn't expensive. It was like a basic, sure. That was cool. I really enjoyed. Oh uh, no, the guitar, the guitar! <laughs> oh my god. 
I really enjoyed that. I thought that Angie was great. I loved the style. I loved how he was just jumping around. The performance was awesome, like really awesome. I would kill to go and see them live. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.